One morning in January a surprise was waiting for the inhabitants of the village. In Sarosovy, in the Khabarovsk region of Russia, such surprises were rare and even frightening. On the balcony of one of the apartment buildings, the owners found a female tiger sleeping quietly. The local residents were familiar with such tigers, but their behavior was so rare that they were surprised and even frightened and immediately called representatives of the Ministry of Natural Resources and employees of the Amur region. This wild animal could pose a threat to humans. So experts had to inject the tigress with a sleep aid to ensure its safe transfer. Normally, this tigress would not need the company of people, but it was clear that it needed help. After examining the tigress, they did not find that it was injured. Despite being exhausted, the tigress was taken to the Pomosky Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Veterinarians examined the tigress and discovered the cause of its injuries and abnormal behavior. In fact, the tigress had serious problems with its gums and upper teeth and had no food, which was why it came to the village to ask for help. At that time, the tigress was getting better and was being rescued by a veterinarian. A good sign was that the tigress was responding to food, so they fed it with loose ground meat. However, Treating the gum and tooth damage was not an easy task, so the tigress had to stay in the rehabilitation center for several weeks. After a long period of starvation that caused major health problems for the tigress, its condition stabilized. So rescuing it was a very important task because it was a very important animal. It was a smart tigress and knew to ask for help from humans who helped it. Please keep watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking. There is no animal more fearful than man. And this proverb is a very accurate description of a group of people who harm defenseless animals in the pursuit of money, ruthlessly hurting beautiful animals to sell their skin without regard for the imminent risk of their extinction. The incredible story of a Russian hunter named Kim who claims to have sat face to face with a northeastern tiger and been transported deep into the forest where some very amazing animals live, was born and raised in the forest, and as a child he heard incredible stories from his family about encounters with tigers. Since the stories were so much like fairy tales, Kim grew up knowing only that the tigers lived in the forest, but he had never seen one. Kim and Maria got married and found a job as a game warden. They had a daughter and loved her very much. After their daughter grew up and got married, they moved to the city, so they had to live alone. Kim's wife became very ill and died without ever seeing her newborn grandson, and Maria's death caused Kim great pain, but he had to persevere for the sake of his grandson, Elon. In fact, he could not see his daughter and grandson as often as he would have liked because he could not leave the farm to visit them. The woman was also unable to travel long distances to visit him because of her job, so they only saw each other every few years. Kim looked forward to their visits with great anticipation. When Elon was 12 years old, he was very interested in everything his grandfather did and he especially enjoyed listening to his grandfather tell him all the stories he encountered when he was young before he went to bed at night. One night, Iwan asked Kim if he had ever seen an Amura tiger, and was disappointed when Kim said no. Later, Kim said he had met a tigress, which renewed Iwan's interest and prepared him to listen to his grandfather tell the story. Kim began to tell the story. 20 years ago, your grandmother and I raised chickens, geese, ducks, pigs and cows, and we weren't bored because we were always taking care of them. At that time, your grandmother Maria took care of the garden and the house. The winter was almost over, the snow had melted. The trees were sprouting and everything was waking up. The land was dry enough in some places, so I started planting potatoes. After digging for a while, I took a break and was about to catch my breath. It was then that I noticed an unidentified object in the bushes that looked like some kind of striped animal. 
However, I thought it was just a hallucination, so I went back to work. Then there was some more movement in the bush and I felt something staring at me, so I felt scared. As the fear increased, I turned my head and saw a huge tigress just a few meters away. Being an experienced hunter, I realized that I had no time to run away because it would soon catch up with me. I stood still, scared and unsure of what to do. I noticed that it was injured for some reason. It looked at me then turned and disappeared into the bushes. I wanted to run, but I didn't have the strength. It wasn't long before the tiger reappeared with a cub in its mouth. The tiger took a step towards me and then put the cub on the grass and pushed it towards me with its nose and then it disappeared. I stood there afraid to move, not knowing if the tiger was gone or hiding in the bushes watching me. But I was sure it had given me its cub and wanted me to take care of it. The tiger was injured and therefore could not take care of it alone. After a while, I went over to the tiger cub and looked at it. The tiger cub was only a month old and did not know how to eat alone. At that moment, it was lying on the grass and calling desperately for its mother. It was then that I realized that the tiger was not coming back. I took the tiger cub home. You might want to see the look on your grandmother's face when she saw the tiger cub in my arms. We sat together and looked at it, not knowing what to do. After some discussion, we decided to feed it until it could return to the forest. For the first month, your grandmother bottle fed it, and for the second month, it was ready for raw meat. Fortunately, I was a skilled hunter, so we always had fresh meat in the house. The tiger cub grew quickly, but it behaved like a cat and got along well with other animals, showing no aggression. Nine months later, the cub had grown to 115 pounds, so it was hard to hide it. We were worried that someone would know we had a tiger in the house because of its high market value. So we kept it a secret for its safety. No matter how difficult this was for us and how attached we were to it, we knew we had to release it back into the forest. When I released it back, it seemed to understand what was happening. I was worried that it would follow me home. But luckily it disappeared into the brush. After it took one last look at me, I stood for a long time and felt sad. I was happy that it is now living happily in its hometown. You may ask me what happened to his mother, until one day I found out the answer. As you know, rumors spread quickly in the village and we learned that poachers were hunting these tigers in the forest and that they had hurt a tigress with two cubs. They caught one of the cubs, and the tigress escaped with the other cub, which was in my care afterwards because it could no longer take care of it. The poachers said that an angry tigress attacked their camp that night and destroyed everything, to avenge the other cub. No one saw the tigress again, and no one currently knows if it escaped or where it is. If it was apprehended by poachers, or if those poachers have been brought to justice. That's the story for today, if you like this story, please like and comment and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to click on the bell icon to avoid missing our new stories.